Hey guys, it's Hayden here making another video. Today I'm going to share with you some of the stuff I've been working on recently, um, some of the things I've been going through, some of the things that I've experienced um, recently, um, going from medical intuitive to a recent crisis I've kind of experienced, um, as well as some, as some of my insecurities about posting videos on YouTube. So, um, yeah, that's what we'll talk about. So as you can probably see, I've passed the 100 subscribers point. So thank you to um, everybody who has subscribed and is supporting me on my channel. Um, I never thought I'd make it past 100. With that, it's kind of brought up some insecurity within me um, because um, I've been kind of worried about what I should be posting, what I shouldn't be posting. Um, and I've kind of been hard on myself and um, sort of filtering what I should be posting, what I shouldn't. So this video is kind of breaking that cycle and just realizing that people will probably appreciate the stuff that I make um, that's me genuinely and not trying to create an image of some sort or, um, you know, try to prevent people from judging me and stuff because people will anyways. So might as well be myself. Recently, so I'll just talk about some of the stuff that I've um, done recently. So I saw a medical intuitive recently because I've been having a lot of pain since I was about 16 in my neck and shoulders into my hands. Um, and a lot of that started when I was playing a lot of video games. I played a lot of World of Warcraft back in the day. World of, Ra World of Warcraft Classic is coming out tomorrow, so um, it's kind of like... <laughs> Uh, it's bringing back a lot of those like nostalgic feelings and I kind of want to play again, but um, I don't know what to do about that. We'll see. Um, but I have kind of gone down into a cycle of playing a lot of games and sort of um, isolating myself. Um, I live in a new place now. I moved from where I used to live. I used to live with like five roommates um, and they're all like about my age. So we'd always like hang out and do different things. Um, now that I'm in a new place, I have to sort of create my life. Um, a lot of opportunities to hang out presented themselves pretty easily when I was with them. But now that I'm by myself, I have to create more, um, create more activities for myself and reach out. So I joined some meetup groups. Hopefully I'll be able to go hiking with some people in the local area because that's something I enjoy doing. I'd like to go backpacking with people, but it's kind of hard to find people who really want to go out into the wilderness for several days at a time um, with, you know, just a backpack. So hopefully I'll find some people through that that I can do some adventures with um, and hang out with and, you know, just find some chill people who like walking in nature. But back to the medical intuitive, um, I saw her and she gave me some information about what's been going on with me. Apparently there's been a lot of contraction in my body. Um, I was pretty hard on my body when I was younger. I was pretty athletic, so I did a lot of sports. And, um, you know, if I wanted to get the ball or wanted to, like, catch the frisbee, I would just go for it. Um, and I pushed myself pretty hard in cross country um, and other sports. So... Apparently I've done like quite a bit of damage to my body um, and she said that I need to take care of it now. Um, I've also had several concussions and those um, have left me with lingering headaches and so there's a lot of things that I can't do anymore. Like I can't really play any sports that could potentially involve me getting hit. I can't even run anymore because uh, the impact of running actually brings on headaches and there's minimal amount of time I can spend on the computer now because of the pain that I have in my wrists and neck and shoulders. So the, the injuries that I have are pretty debilitating. Not that I'm not like handicapped or anything, but they're definitely like, they, they hinder me from doing a lot of different stuff. Um, I'm still grateful that I can do a lot of things that some other people can't. Um, but if this is something that can be healed, then it would be awesome. Um, and she said, it is something that can be healed. I just have to go to someone um, that will actually address the core problem. And she said that there's basically a primal reflex response, which is basically um, a, re a response to pain. Our body contracts. 
And at one point in my life, I was hit so hard, this is what she said, that it put a shock to my system. And so I'm like kind of in a constant con uh, contraction state. And so if I go to a massage therapist, an acupuncturist, um, you know, rolfer, uh, chiropractor, it may like address temporary symptoms, but it's not going to address the core issue because it's going to contract and bring everything back to where it was before that, where it was causing the pain. And I've done all of those different things. Um, and I haven't really seen that many results. I've seen, I've done physical therapy as well. So I'm hopeful that this technique that this um, practitioner does will actually help me to release some of that stuff that's been um, creating pain. Um, she also said there's a technique that he does that could also help with my concussions as well. Um, so I will keep you guys posted on how that goes. My first session with him is at the beginning of September, the first Friday of September. So I'm really looking forward to that because I've had this pain. The headaches have been about four years, I think, and the pain in my neck and shoulders has been about 10 years because um, I'm 26 right now. So I'm hoping to get some relief um, from that. So we will see. Other than that, things have been pretty good. Um, this weekend, I'll be going with some of my friends, my old roommates, to to go camping in Kentucky, so that'll be fun. We're not going to go backpacking because some of them don't really want to backpack. Like I said, a lot, not a lot of people really enjoy doing that, and I understand why. I just love being out there. So we'll be camping and having a good time, so that'll be, that'll be fun, um, and I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, looking forward to September. Um, I get some time off in September for, um, for work. So that'll be nice to have that time off as well. So, um, at the end of my videos, I think I'm going to start doing, um, like a one card draw. I've got a lot of different Oracle cards that I have. Um, and I love doing card readings for people. So I figured for my viewers, I'd like to just do like one card draw for you guys and maybe the card is relevant to your life or bring some insight into whatever you're going through, whatever you're working on. So I'll just pull a card and then read the description and then maybe throw in any insights or anything I'm picking up on. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll draw the top card here. And the card is... Mayu, Soma from the Galactic Heart. So there is the card. And let's see what the card says. This is the deck. You guys may have seen the deck before. It's the Earth Warriors card or deck. Mayu says, the Divine Mother's milk of the galaxy is feeding your soul expansion of your horizons, your spiritual purpose, and your sacred responsibilities is taking place. Divine potential within you is awakening at a higher turn of the creative spiral of consciousness. This oracle is prophecy of ascension and grace. Um, your soul has been going through a deep uh, through a deep spiritual feeding process and is rapidly growing the evidence of this in outer world will be a sense of expansion of opportunity reach connections a new level levels of spiritual experiences this oracle foretells the welcoming in of a new phase in life newborn energies and fertility whether biological creative or psychological are being stimulated the oracle indicates the discovery development and expression of talents an increasing public profile which moves you into the spotlight can be can help you fulfill your divine life mission, provided that you keep your inner connection to spirit as the highest priority. The oracle speaks of soul healing around matters of trust, spirit, mother, and abundance. Cool. So that's that. Hopefully that resonates with you. Um, that is cool card. I'll put the picture of this uh, description on the video so that you guys can see um, while I'm reading. So 
All right. Well, if you guys like this video, let me know by uh, liking or commenting below. And if you'd like to see more videos by me, then check out my channel, Informal Inquiry, and you can uh, subscribe and click that notification button so you know when I'm posting new videos. And as always, make sure to seek your truth and to take time for yourself. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, feel free to do so. I appreciate your support. Thanks, guys. See you soon.